and we are back once more to the black pearl here is a picture of how it looks how we left it on the previous video not that many more elements left today i'm going to work on a cage and maybe some boxes and some crates i hope you enjoyed the video leave a like leave a comment please do subscribe to the channel starting with the cages if you haven't seen how i do these cages out of styrene i will leave a link on the top corner for another video where i show how this is done but these ones are already done and i'm gonna start the weathering process i'm starting by applying a coat of vallejo rust texture this it's an acrylic product uh, i like it because the color is a good color as a base color to do rust effects on top and it leaves a little grainy texture that improves the the final look uh, if i wasn't using the texture product i would use a similar brown as the base color where to do the effects because this has texture it's not really painted it's more stapled uh, to not drag the, the grainy substances with as you brush With all the cages painted on one side, I let them dry and then I repeat the process on the other side.
Once solderless texture is fully dried, I start working with pigments and washes. The first one is red oxide I'm using from Alejo. And I, with a brush, I apply randomly on the surfaces. On top of the red oxide pigment, I apply a coat of dark oxide wash I'm also using from Vallejo. With the wash still wet and using a brush, I apply light rust pigment also randomly and this will create the desired effect. The wash will help set both of the pigments and help mix everything, leaving the desired look of rust. Now I repeat all this on the three pieces on both sides. If you have been paying attention, you will notice that on this side I haven't used the red pigment and because of that the result turns out a bit lighter and I have to be more careful with the, the lighter one, the lighter pigment to put a bit less otherwise it becomes way too, too bright. But once it dries it tones down a bit and if I really need to tone down, varnish will tone down any pigment. The cages are done, now to prepare the place where they are going to, as I've done on the other ones, I darken the line where the cages will sit to simulate a bit of dirt underneath and around the bottom of the cages. I'm using brown pigment and black.
As I've explained it on previous videos, now I use a Q-tip. Uh, one of the edges of the Q-tip is wet and I rub where I want the pigment to set. The other tip is dry and I rub where I want to remove some of the pigment and blend it not to have a better transition. Everything is ready to glue the cages in place. I believe this is a good spot to end the video, here are a couple of pictures of how the cage looks, I hope you enjoy it, leave a like, leave a comment, please consider subscribing, I hope to see you all on the next one, we're gonna do some more details on these cages and probably a few more cargo elements.